so let's look at how to calculate the resistivities of two metals namely copper and aluminium okay so we'll use ohm's law to find the resistivities of these two metals so let's look at our title so the title is supposed to be measurement of resistivities of copper and aluminium using ohm's law right that's the title now this is the setup these are the two rods and then our power supply and then our amplifier okay so we'll be using an amp now the settings for the amp is supposed to be here okay so that one will be done for you in the lab so after you take your values right after you've taken your values let's look at the theory behind the whole experiment how to find our resistivity okay now we said in our previous videos that the resistance of a material or a metal depends on three things one the length two the resistivity and three the area okay now this is the resistance of the material this is the resistivity now since we are using ohm's law ohm's law says that v equals to ir okay v equals to ir if we are making out the subject here right in this equation let's say this is equation two Let's call this equation one. If we make our the subjects in equation two, we will get this. R equals to V over I, right? So that's how to find the resistance, okay? But we are interested in the resistivity. And then it says we should plot. We are plotting the voltage and current. Okay, so since we are plotting voltage and current, let's replace this R let's replace this r in this equation so let's call this equation three let's insert equation three into equation one right so if we insert this which is this here we'll get something like this so now r becomes v over r equals to this because we replace this with this so that's the idea after doing that now we can plot this against this. So if we want to plot this against this, we multiply it through by i. So that i will cancel out here. And then i comes here. Like this. So we can call this equation 4. And then we call this equation 5. Right? So we make v in the subject here. So that our v, when compared to y equals to ms plus c, becomes the y component. Now our s component becomes our current and then our slope will be equal to the whole of this the slope will be equal to the whole of this like this so now this becomes the slope this becomes the y and this becomes the s component now we are expected to get a graph like this right probably it's two rods so it's supposed to be two lines right now it's supposed to go through the origin okay it's a, 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 a line that has two, it, it has two lines, okay? We can see one for copper and then one for aluminum, okay? So after drawing the graph, you can find your slope, right? You can find your slope for each line, okay? So we find our slope for each line, okay? So for aluminum, so you can see uh, slope for aluminum. Right, you find for aluminium, you also find for you find another slope for copper. See you, right? Which will be the change in the V, the unit is V changing I. Right? So we find two slopes because we are finding we have two rods. So after finding the slope from the graph, from the graph, what we do next? Is that we said that from our theory so this is calculation so under calculation you find slope under calculation we find slope right you find slope under calculation 
So after finding the two slopes for each metal and the calculation, then we come and quote this from the theory. Right? And that the theory said that the slope equals the whole of this. So what we do is we equate the value of the slope to this. So the first slope for aluminium, we said that this is resistivity, right? This is resistivity. This is the length and this is the area. Now the value of the area of the rod has been given in the book, right? So this is the length and this is the area that we'll be using. So now, since we have this already, we have this from the aluminium. Let's do for aluminium first. We have this for aluminium, and then we have this, and we have also this, right? We have this, and we have this, and we have this. We can find, we can make resistivity as subject, and then find resistivity for aluminium. So we can just write resistivity for aluminium here. After that, we do another one, right? We come and quote this again, that our slope equals to, that's for copper, for copper. So we can say this is for aluminium, right? So this is for copper. Then we find another one. Then we can make resistivity the subject, right, for copper, see you. And then we can find the resistivity for copper. Okay, so this is how you find the resistivities for the two metals. Okay, first of all, we need to view this theory. Okay, so this is the concept behind it. After doing this for our theory, we draw a spectrograph all under the theory. Then under calculation, we find the slopes for each metal. Then we use the slope for each metal to find the resistivities for each metal. Thank you.